The next question is from Paul Horn. I just want to know why you voted against an infrastructure bill. I think it's important, especially with Metro North stations being built in the Bronx at, the, at this time. Yeah. No, I, I, I appreciate the question. And um, so the question was, why did I vote against the bipartisan infrastructure bill? Uh, uh, Representative Bowman and I both voted against it at the time because we had promises from uh, Democratic leadership that we were going to pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill law and BBB together. And I'm very supportive, you know, of the investments that were made in the bipartisan infrastructure law. In fact, we fought for a lot of those investments. We offered a lot of those investments, especially the ones in public transit and rail and all of these things. But here was the core issue that we uh, that we contended with. For me, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of things, but for me, a big part of it was NYCHA. And we have a 40 billion dollar, 30 to 40 billion dollar capital deficit in NYCHA. And what has happened is that every year the federal government is supposed to invest a bit one like small amounts of investments in in upkeep uh, for public housing across the United States. In the last 20 to 30 years, they have not done that. And so all those little investments have built up into a $40 billion capital deficit. And now we've got babies sleeping in bubble jackets in public housing. We have people that don't have access to heat or hot water in affordable housing. And we received a promise that both of these things will go together, that they would not leave our people behind. And at the very last minute, that promise was broken. And I felt that I needed to send a message that they can't be doing that. We cannot continue to do that. Because right now, what we are contending with still is one of the largest land uses uh, in, in, in the city, which is housing for so many people, is falling apart. In addition to that, we have all of those investments in our schools, investments in healthcare, all of that being left behind. And so for us, you know, it's not that I didn't want those things to be passed, but it is that we were given a promise that our communities would not be left behind in that, including investments here in Co-op City. And so in protest of that, we voted no. And now, you know, when we fast forward, I think that I still stand by the vote because I believe that that vote created amplified pressure on the administration to start making investments in our communities in other ways. And so with the MTA station stops, all four of them now are in our congressional district. Co-op City, Morris Park, Parkchester, and Hunts Point, all four of those stations are, are now in our new congressional district, before it was uh, split up between two to three. And so now that, we have these, now that we have these resources committed, I want you to know that we're playing an extremely active role in, uh, in trying to make sure that they are stewarded responsibly. So that's, um, you know, that's, that's basically the story behind that vote. Thank you. Thank you.